Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have you a 30 minute low impact simple cardio exercises and this is our no repeat. Let's get warmed up now. So we're just crisscrossing the arms out in front, bringing the knees up slightly, nothing too intense, okay? Just gradually getting the body nice and warm, some heat into those muscles. 24 moves today, not repeating anything, so lots of variety in this one. And uh, working for intervals of 10 seconds to rest, 50 seconds to do your actual work. Now you can decrease that work time if you want to, if you feel that's too long, so you can increase your rest time, that's all there. Okay, let's bring these elbows right back now, feeling the shoulder blades engaging, drawing those knees up and engaging your core as well. So you should feel a little bit of tension or tightness in around that tummy region. Good work, okay. Nice big deep breaths. Breathe it in, breathe it all out. Now if you can go higher above your head, give that a go. And if not, just stay down in front of your tummy or up around your chest area. That's it, great. Well done, up over the head and down. Let's change this up now. Four and three, two and one. Now I want you just to leave out the arms and increase your knee raise now. That's it, good. Drive those arms up in front of you. Now let's move off the spot. Let's go over sideways and make your way back. Good. And back to the middle. Well done. Now, if you're liking today's video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on it because that really does help the channel to be pushed out to more ladies like yourself who want to find the workouts and get fit. So big thumbs up if you, if you are enjoying the workout and you feel like you're getting some, something good from it. I hope you are. And I know, thank you so much for all those likes you're putting on the video. I really do appreciate that. It's really helping the channel to grow a little bit each day. Let's hold it here in the middle now. Now, punch, punch, double up your punches. Might need to double up those legs a little bit too. Good, drive out, warming up that upper half for me. That's it, great. Now up to the ceiling if you can. Good, stay out in front if you have a little bit of an issue with punching up above your head. Good, keep your breathing going for me. Well done. Let's do four, keep the legs going. Three, two, and last one. Okay, let's change up the legs. Kick out, kick, and kick. Good, kick. That's it, nice and low. Just warming up here now, so nothing too intense for the body. A little contraction there for the quad muscle will protect the knee. So if you just tense up your quad, the muscle, your thigh muscle, That'll protect your knee as you kick out. And reach. You can go a little higher now if you want to. So we work our way through the warm up. Good. And reach. And reach. Good. And five. And four. Three. Two. Now let's go into some torso reaches. So legs about hip distance. Maybe a little bit wider. Good. And stretch across and stretch across. That's it, feeling a nice stretching around the rib cage area. That's good work. Push out that air as you reach. That's it. Let's hear those big deep breaths for me. Good, and two more. And last one, now let's circle those arms. Loosen out, oh, all those cobwebs. You can feel that there now. This is a lovely stretch to do any time of the day. Good, and the other way. It's a dynamic or ballistic stretch, so you're not holding the stretch. I very rarely ever hold stretches in a warm up. Leave that for the cool down. Okay, now let's get those ankles warmed up and I'll show you the first move. So we're just here, just going up and down, getting all the cracks and creaks out of the ankles and the little bones in the feet. And getting the calves warm. Keep that going now while I show you what's coming up and I'll press the timers and we'll start. 
So remember, it's 10, 10, 50 today, 10 seconds to work, 50, sorry, 10 seconds to rest, 50 to do the work. Now, so we're step touching, and we're going to do a high bicep curl. Now, if you want to, you've decided you're doing weights, be careful of the high bicep curl with weights. Maybe you do your, your bicep curl with your elbows tucked in, okay? And you can use weights with this workout if you, if you, if you want to, if you want to increase the intensity, or it might bring your heart rate up a little bit more for you. Right, let's get going, okay? 10 seconds to get ready. I'm gonna go with those stationary walks again. Getting those calves warmed up, it's always nice. Now let's go step touch, step touch. High bicep curl. Good, now I want you to contract those biceps. Okay, so let's see some action going on there. Show me those nice strong muscles in your upper body. Now the step touch, you can keep it nice and uh, small, range of movement small, okay, and slow, okay, depending on your pace. If you want to go at a slower pace, that's perfect. But if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, make the move bigger, so increase your range of movement and speed up. That's it, good. All the while, contracting those biceps. Good, keep going, nearly there now. Next move we've got, we're alternating the knee raises, so that's one, two, and then we're gonna do two elbows to knees. So let me quickly show you. So we're going one, two, and then one and two. Okay, hands behind the head, or you can do your little slams for the first part. Good, it's up to you. I like to get the tummy worked here with the knee raises. And up, so one, two, one, two, that's it, two, and I want you to, re this is really a great standing abdominal work here, exercise this one. So C curve, slight C curve will bring the ribs down towards the legs and that'll really feel, really feel your abs when you do that. And then the obliques there, knee raise, crunching out at the side there, one and two. One, and two, and two. Now, pendulums are coming next. Okay, let me show you. So you're, you might need a little bit of space with this. Move to the side, one side pendulum, dive under, other side. This is a slower move. Now, you can step over if you don't want to dive over. Pendulum, dive under. Remember that rope is above your head. Don't hit the rope. That's it, good and pendulum. Step it over if you find di diving under. Well, the scoops, these here, are a little bit too challenging for you. So you just step it over, okay? Don't lean to the side there now, work your abdominals again. That's it, keep that chest upright for me, that trunk upright. Good, squeeze out that glute minimus. Good, get it to work for you. Well done. And lift, this is a nice move, either cardio or strength. Lift up, good, and again. Okay, now 10 seconds is short, so I'll take the rest. Right, alternating knee repeater. So we're going to go one, two, and we're chopping the arms down both sides. Okay, let's go, one, good. Strong arms, come on, we are strong ladies here. That's it, pull those arms down. Good. There's a fast or swift directional change here. So that will, might put a, bit, a little bit of a challenge onto your balance. Be aware of that. Good, slow it down if you feel you're falling over. You can really help yourself with balance by making sure your core is engaged. So you should feel that tension in around your tummy muscles. Good, chest is up. Nice, tall spine for me. Good posture, that's it, come on, pull down. Next one, we've got three shuffles and a ski squat at the end for four, okay? Or you can step across if you don't want to shuffle. So you're gonna step across. We've got four of these ski squats, just say I've done four, or you, you can shuffle it across with four, okay? So three shuffles, three steps across. That's one, lift those feet, two, now hold it here. Now, ski squat for four, three, two, over we go again. 
one, so you're working both sides of the room, two, sidestep it if you don't want any impact, one, two, three, so this will be you. Now you're going to be obviously slower, okay, so don't worry if we get out of sync, that's fine, it doesn't matter, one, two, three, four, you might be able to mix between the two, the shuffle is very light impact, not too intense. One, two, three, and four. Good work. Now, next one, leg curls. Let's get some hamstrings going. I feel I haven't done a, a leg curl in ages. Okay, and then we're gonna swing the arms. Get their legs down first. Kick out your rear. That's it, have some fun. Well, you can add a little bounce if you're feeling very energetic today. And swing those arms. Good. Nice big circles with the arms. What lovely mobility for the upper chest and uh, for the trunk in general there, the upper trunk, the back muscles. I can feel the back muscles responding to this. That's it. Good. Kick out your rear. Good. Head is nice and high up towards the ceiling. We're having fun, enjoying ourselves. I hope you are anyway. I love these no repeat cardios. They really do get the endorphins flowing. Butterflies fluttering away. Just there now. I don't want to finish this one. It's great fun. Okay, well done. All right, now we've got a ski squat again. One side, middle, other side. So very stationary, but it's going to get the heart rate up. Good. And why does it get the heart rate up when you're so stationary? You may wonder. It's because you can see the glutes are contracting and relaxing there with each, each time we bring the arms down and the quads. So they're very large muscle groups in the body. Your abs are working here as well. You're bringing your chest towards your legs, but you're keeping your back straight though. And because of that, you're gonna feel a little bit, uh, a bit winded. That's good, we're working our cardiovascular system while we stand on the spot. <laughs> No pressure there at all on your joints. Good. And side. Keep your chest up right now. Do that little check for me. Good. And sweep. Center. And we'll just finish the other side. Well done. Okay. These are really fun moves. Right, we're going to walk forward. Clap our hands underneath. Walk back. Clap your hands underneath. Okay. If you're doing a morning workout or if you've been sitting working all day, you might feel like this exercise. You feel a little bit stiff and getting your arms underneath your legs is very challenging. So if that's you, just tap out your knee. That's fine too. Okay, if you're feeling very flexible, you're having a good day with flexibility. I know some days are better than others. Give this one a go. But the, the, the trick is trying keeping your back straight. You can do a little tiny crunch there. That's great because it does work the tummy. You can feel your tummy muscles working like an upright crunch like you do on the floor or on the mat. Good. Well done. Just there now, make your way back. Okay, good work. Right, now step back on arms. So you're stepping back. If you want, you can go into a little lunge if you're feeling like you want a little bit more leg work and glute work. Okay, so let's step it back. Choose what level you'd like to work at. Now turn your palms up to the ceiling and tuck your elbows into your rib cage. And we are going to carry the trays. They're stuck to your hands. Imagine you two trays stuck to your hands. Let's see those palms facing the ceiling. Now engage those trapezius and rhomboids there that lie between your shoulder blades. They're your posture muscles. Slight little retraction there with the shoulder blades. We'll bring those into play. Good. Pull back. Pull back. You should be feeling your back muscles here and a little stretch uh, in the front into the hip flexor. And if you're gone down into a deeper lunge, most definitely feeling your quads working. Good work. Well done. Okay, now we've got a double step touch. So one, two, and a knee raise at the end of each double step touch. Okay, let's get ready. One, two, cross. That's it. Cross the body. Good. And across. And you're feeling a lovely stretch there in your glutes. 
with the knee crossing over. That's it, good. And over. Well done. Slow it down if this pace is a little bit too fast for you. Good. And across. Keep going. Remember if the 50 second intervals are too long for you, maybe you're new here, you're a beginner to exercise, even if you're not over 50, beginners are always welcome here. You can reduce that work time, okay? Take 10 seconds off it and have a longer rest. Well done, okay. Now heel dig, gently pressing your heel into the floor, push. We're gonna push some water away. Okay, you've got to imagine we're pushing something heavy away. That's it. Don't lean back. Keep that spine nice and straight. Always remember you've got a stick, like a sweeping brush, or a broomstick, or a curtain pole. Something that will help you to remind you to keep your back straight. That's it. Push away. Push. Speed this up if you want to. You can go a little faster. Double time those feet. Slow it down if you have to. Rest out your arms if you're a beginner and you're fatiguing. Good. If you need a rest, you can always march it out for a few seconds and come back in when you're ready. There's lots of options for everybody. That's it. Good. Well done. Okay, now we've got knee raise. Knee raise. Now this is a wonderful tummy exercise. Two knee cross the body for two, okay? So rib cage to knee, slightly, cross, cross, okay, one, two, good, it's like an upright crunch, now watch your back here, you must have that tension, that little bit, that core activation for me here, and cross, and cross, you can really feel this, this is really specific, to the muscles in around the belly button and above it. Go at that waistline, your obliques, and across, and across. Come on, let's hear the breaths. That's it, inhaling, exhaling. Good work. Okay, you're really feeling on fire there around the tummy. Okay, now we have a side step, two feet together, and then into your side leg lift or pendulum. Side step, good. Side step, stay on one side. Don't lean too far to the side. Try not to do that. I have to remind myself not to do that. You can bring in some arms. Side step, good. Just let the arms follow the legs. Don't make it complicated. Good work. Lift up. That's it, reach up, side step, good, side step, and not leaning to the side, squeezing out that glute medius, glute minimus, keeping those muscles healthy, because we do tend to work the glute maximus the most. Good, and last one, well done. Okay, marching on the spot, or you can go if you want a full minute, other side. Good. Right, let's do it. Side step. You can go into a bit more of a lunge if you'd like to make that a little bit more challenging. That's fine too. Or you can leave it at a side step. Here, like side step, slight bend in the knee. Lift up. Good. You might feel like you want to get a little bit more uh, inner thigh work. So that's good too. Lift up side lunge or step good now next move donkey kicks and shoulder press so we're going to be working those glutes the glute maximus okay one of the most favorable muscle groups people like to work that's it good okay one of the most popular donkey kick Kick. Now don't lean to the side. You can bend slightly at the waist just to allow for range of movement, allow the, for the hip extension or donkey kick. Good. Now shoulder press. Leave out the shoulder press if you're having issues with balance. 
hold on to something, hold on to a sturdy piece of furniture. That's it, if you really, really want to get a good kick out. Good, kick. I think the arms do help to balance the body. Kick. Good. That's it, really feeling those glutes working hard. Hopefully you're feeling it in the glute and not the lower back. If you're feeling your lower back, it's time to do some work for the glutes. One of the best exercises you can do is bridging on the floor on a mat. That's it, good. If you can't get to the floor, try it on a, a bed. If you have a firm mattress, that's great. Okay, now we have side stepping, and then we're bringing in some arms. Okay, so we're bringing them out wide and up. Okay, two. Let's stick at two, so it gives you a chance to think about it. One, two. I think if you speed through these mo movements, you end up just going through the motions. I want you to work your muscles here. Stretch out your chest. One, two. Nice and wide. And up, and up. Now, having said that, you can take up the pace, but still stay focused on all limbs. Switch on that brain for me. Good. And one. And two. Good. One. Fatigue coming in. We've got some touchdowns coming next. Love this exercise. It is absolutely wonderful for getting, for getting the endorphins to flutter away in your tummy. Down. You don't have to touch the floor. I'd rather you didn't because you might end up rounding your back. Okay. Unless you're extremely flexible there. Good. Now, if you have trouble with squats, you find it hard, what you can do is just do a mini, a mini touchdown, or you can just do a box squat on your chair. So anytime squats come up and you feel like, oh, I have to pass that one out, pass that one out, or forget that one, skip that one, get your chair out and do a box squat, because we squat every day, we sit every day on a chair. So just tap your bottom off the chair and drive your weight up. That's it, that'll be your exercise. Good. Now come on, there's something here for everybody. Reach up, make sure the knees are tracking out over the shoes, shoelaces there. Good. We have two pendulums next, back to those working those uh, glute minimus. We're doing a lot of work for the glute maximus here, you can feel that. Right, so we've got one, two, and now we have, instead of donkey kicks, butt squeezes. One, two, Squeeze, squeeze. And again, you can use your shoulders. Again, the arms help to counterbalance the body once the leg lifts off the floor. Good. One, two. Now just make sure you're not leaning all the way over to the side here, okay? That's it, squeeze, squeeze. One, two, so we worked the glute maximus there with a couple of exercises. Now we're back to the minimus and medius. So they lie underneath the maximus. They wrap around the hip area. We don't really have hip bones. Notoriously weak on a lot of people. Because even when people work them, they tend not to make that mind-muscle connection that's needed to work them. Okay, that's the, getting that mind to the muscle. All right. Now, heel day crosses. So we're going to... Back to heel digs, but we're going to cross the body. Good. And the arms will mimic. That's it. And again, this is a nice one. Very little coordination needed. Well, at least I don't think there's a lot of coordination. That could be just me. But uh, compared to some of the others, <laughs> drive the elbows back. That's it. Good. Elbows coming back behind you. Engaging those posture muscles again. Any chance you get, take it. That's it. Good, now you can speed up here if you want to. Again, this is one of these ones where you can go as fast as you like. Get that heart rate up a little bit more. Or you might want to just slow it down. That's fine. Good. Well done, okay. Now we have a knee raise across the body and we are, oh yeah, we're gonna move forward and back. So again, here's the tummy one. Okay, so crossing the body, keep going. And engaging that core 
as you drive your knee across your body. You can do this on the spot if you prefer. But I think it's a nice fun one getting off the spot. That's it, good. Well done. Keep going, come on, you can do it. Have fun with it. Use your breath. Big deep breaths in. Forward and back. Have a little, add a little bounce if you're feeling like you've got lots of energy today, that's fine. Slow it down if you have to. Cross, cross. Great stretch for the glutes. Next is a wide knee raise, both legs. And we're going to, to do a little bit of work for the back. So, wide knee raise. Now again, trays in the hand, pull back. It looks like an awkward move, but it's actually really, it's a great move here for working the back muscles. Give it a go. If you don't like it, you can always rotate the palms and just pull back. You can mix between the two. It's nice to hit the back, the back muscles from different uh, areas. Good. Different angles, I should say. Now back row, if you feel like you want to work it a different way, and then you can face your palms down. Don't forget the wide knee raise. Come on, wide out to the side. Let's face our palms down so we can focus on that for the last few seconds. Good, wide, wide. Come on, squeeze, work those obliques. Good, just there now, any second. Well done. Okay, that was great. Now we have our X reaches. Starting position, legs closed, open, reach. Okay, you ready to get the heart rate up? Now again, you can go fast with this one, or you can slow it right down if you're feeling tired or you're a little bit too breathless. Good. Depending on your fitness level, if you want to really get that heart rate up before we do the last few moves today, here's a good opportunity. Come on, punch out that ceiling. Now this is quite challenging to do for nearly a minute, these arms above the head, they will increase the heart rate. So if you're feeling fatigued, just keep the legs going. That's it, punch out. You can rest out the arms for a few seconds and come in for the last few. Reach and reach. Good work, come on, you can do it. The next exercise is a little less intense for the upper half. So push through, come on. Ah, oh, there you go. Saved by the beep. <laughs> All right, now we're going to X the legs and X the arms. So we're working arms, but a little less intensely. Now, having said that, I want you to draw the elbows up towards your shoulders, up shoulder height. Good. And I want you to work the shoulders. Okay, we're here to do our work. That's it, good. One move left after this one. Good work, Mom. We've got some knee raises to finish out and punch the ceiling. So we're giving our arms a little rest, our shoulders a little rest here. Good. Drive those elbows back. Well done. Keep going. Come on, 10 seconds. Feeling the chest muscles stretching there and contracting. It's a great one for the chest. Working those inner thighs while we're at it. Well done. Okay, I'm going opposites here, so think opposite, right, left with the leg, and punch out the ceiling. It doesn't matter if you do both sides. Now this is a nice bouncy one to finish out today's workout. And well done, you should be so proud of yourself, getting in another one, putting another one in the bag. Consistency, isn't that what it's all about when we're training? That's it. Some days you'll have a great workout, other days not so good. But that doesn't matter. One bad workout is not going to uh, impact your, your chance of getting fit and strong and healthy. It's just not doing them is really what that, that's what will happen. You know, it's just, it's consistency. When you're consistent with your workouts, it doesn't matter if you have a bad one here and there. As long as you stay consistent. We're not robots. We have our off days and some days we feel really up for it. Good. And there you go, well done. Whatever kind of day you had, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's stop that. Good work. Now my heart rate, no doubt to saying my heart rate's high with these, with that, no repeat. That was full on for a good half hour, really, to include the warm up. 
Okay, let's bring that heart rate down for you a little bit. Just pace forward and back. Good. That was great. And you can let me know in the comment box below the video if you enjoyed today's workout and if you enjoy the no repeats. I know a lot of you do, but uh, and I can see why I really do like them myself. Let's stretch across. I'm going to link up a longer cool down for you now than this. I just want to bring your heart rate down for you. Good. And other side. You'll find that in the description box below the video here. Great work. Reach up and interlace the fingers. You might need to bring your feet a little closer together there and tilt your pelvis back to lock in those abs. Good work. Keep your back straight and protect your back by using your abdominal muscles. It's great and we'll just do a quick calf stretch because there was a lot of um, movement around the room there with that workout today. So just a quick uh, stretch of the calves. I want you to gently press that back heel into the floor. Feel the tension building up in your calf muscle. Okay and once that tension builds, you allow it to build, Unless you're extremely tight, it should wear off. And if it does, it allows you to push your body a little bit further in space. And then you'll increase that calf stretch even more, okay? So we never just hang in stretches and uh, just look around the room. We're always busy, our brains are busy and we're, active. we're actively increasing our flexibility. Now I am, as always, <laughs> because I shoot three videos in a row, I'm in a rush to move on to the next one. So I want you to spend time on this yourself or find one of those cool downs uh, in, the, in the cool down playlist in the description box below the video here. Make sure your feet are facing 12 o'clock here. That's another little tip for you. I always feel like they look crooked. <laughs> Push forward, I don't know what's the angle of the camera. Allowing that tension to wear off. Relax, enjoy your stretches. Reflect on the good work you've just done for your body too. Push forward a little bit more. And if you're, you really are in a rush, you can always combine lower and upper body stretching. Um, but if you don't like multitasking with stretching, it's just best to take your time and just separate them all out. Right, I'm going to say goodbye to you and thank you so much for joining me today. You did a wonderful workout and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.